Then Finland became independent in 1917 from the Russia, you know, when the, there was a revolution in Russia. Finland didn't have a very strong national identity. We didn't know who we are. And then uh, also the another event, the Second World War, led us in a situation that we, we had to build our country. So it became quite handy to use this modernistic ideology, the idea of welfare society, the idea of society where every person, low income, high income, gets the same possibilities, have a high quality design object, but industrially manufactured, so the prices would be low. Alvarado was master in uh, working between that line, <laughs> that, you know, what is good for everyday life, but it simultaneously raises you up from the misery of everyday life. There was a lot of innovative design coming at that time. The designers like Kai Frank and Timo Sarpaneva and Tapia Birkala, they were really doing innovative things. But um, also the business managers and the business owners, they appreciated the value of design at that time. Marimekko is one example. Vuokko uh, Nurmesniemi is one. All those ladies still many of them living, they are telling the story how they did it. It was a teamwork and it was the, the power not giving up like we call Suomalainen and Sisu. The Sisu is the we don't give up and we work together. We had a big uh, national debate about, uh, I think on one hand, uh, innovativeness of the society and its capability to renew itself and, and to produce new ideas and, and, and in a way create a, a future for itself. That was, people were worried that, that Finland was lacking uh, capability in, 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 the, in innovation. We had to do something to you know, shake up the universities and, and uh, put them in, in different shape. When we started the business like 15 years ago, I think that it was a daily routine to teach clients what is design, why is it important, why is value for money. But nowadays I think our clients are even more, more um, they know more about service design and they want to have it and they want to know the, the newest things, the design thinking and all, all these things. So it's, it's easier and easier for us every day. Example for the city of Helsinki, the meaning, what is the most important meaning of, of design? It's the design of services, because the city is responsible for the, the realization of the, our welfare model. And it's services, it's social sector, health, education. And that is very close to the innovation. We have designers working in the healthcare services. We have uh, designers creating new uh, water drinking places in the city. We have a designer. We have uh, 11,000 children studying design in, in a, when they are six years old. So I think that growth of cities is uh, nowadays uh, a consequence of this kind of general social progress. Of course, there are places where like big cities in China where there is money, which is the motor of the society, but on a longer period uh, it pays more to invest in your citizens and not in government. So the idea is that design is actually everywhere in the modern life. And, and if we challenge that and if we, if we demand better design, that's good for everybody. It's a very simple idea, basically.